Be salt and light. This is the, the message today. Salt and light. What is the mean to be salt? Salt. Sal y luz. Salt and light. Do you like salt? A little bit, yeah? You know, <laughs> now our generation, the people don't like salt, you know, salt. They, they prefer to be all natural. No sugar, no salt, you know? More natural, more good health. A spiritual health, uh, you know, uh, and uh, natural health. So, let's see, you know, in the, in the Jesus time, the people need salt for what? For what? In the past, you know, in very old ages, they don't have refrigerator, they don't have freezer, they don't have a preservative. For what? Huh? Preserve what? Food. Any, you know, any food, you know? Especially in the farmers, you know, we can see. I like when I went to my grandpa in Argentina and the farmer, they have, you know, the... The meat and the and the and the and the and the roof, yeah, the roof. You know, you can see many, many, especially when they kill the pork, big pork, so they can eat maybe for month a month, you know, to preserve the food. And the salt, salt, in that time was very expensive, so very valuable. All right, and they have uh, electricity, yeah, and uh, electricity, and uh, in that time. In, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Generators, yeah? They have it? Yeah? No, any, yes, any. So, like, it's just, you know, natural life. Um, okay, let's see. And the gospel, the good news, you know, the gospel, clearly call us to become witness to Jesus Christ. Witness. You know, have experience of the person of Jesus, his work, his actions, what he did, and what he's doing today. And it invites us in the two different ways, which apparently may look contradictory. Salt, this is a group of salt, salt, salt. Another group is group of light, you know, light and salt. So how we can be salt? How? Uh huh. Huh? What is it? I cannot listen to you. Yeah. How we can be be salt? To you know to test how wonderful is God? How wonderful is to do every day at least one good action, like a boy scout, you know? Good action, you know? Good good person. Good work of mercy, at least once a day, minimum. The salt cannot be seen in the food, can be perceived, it can be tested, like it. There are many persons anywhere that can hardly be perceived as they are like little ants, you know, the whole they working, they are working and doing all good things all the time they come. And maybe we don't see to prepare celebration, events, masses, any activity in any, any churches, how to be many ants, you know, many ants, human ants. The people are preparing, pray, have a planification, you know. American meetings, a lot of meetings, you know, for all details, you know, to prepare, to prepare, to prepare. Maybe someday you will be part of, you know, to prepare the band, to pray. You know, I like to have three words to prepare good events in the church, you know. First, prayer, offering, sacrament, adoration. Second, Organization. I like American organization, but for me, stuff, you know. Organization, you know. And the third is promotion, promotion, promotion. With that three, three words, we can do many stuff for the people. 
And maybe in another side, one can, can appreciate and that kind of people that they are doing a lot of stuff for others, they can show us peace, serenity, joy, kindness. And another people, even they don't have any faith in some environment, they can appreciate something different. Why this person is smiling? What this person want to help others? What this person have maybe a lot of problems and always is you know positive and always have hope and always want to do something more. Light cannot be hidden. They are persons that can be seen from afar. Like Mother Teresa of Calcara, the Pope, the sanctuary's rectors, they hold important position because of their natural leadership, leadership or because of their concrete priesthood can show us that something is different in them. They have a grace, they have a blessing, they have something to share. They are brought into the lime light. As today's gospel say, on the top of the mountain, mountain or in the lap stem, they are doing something good for others. In some way or another, we need to be in the, the, that direction. You know, always all houses have the lamp stamp, yeah? You know, it's good to have something, you know, in the corner so we can see better. We can use it, you know, as a, as a, you know, to see something, you know. And maybe we are called to be a small lamp, you know, but always LED is better, you know. And maybe another are called to be, you know, with more intensity or like reflectors or maybe sun is more light, you know, like a, a, a night light. But anyway, we need light in our time of intense and profound darkness. Light always can overcome evil. We are all called to be salt and light in some direction or another. For as we know for over 30 years of his hiding life in Nazareth, Jesus himself, with his parents, was also salt. It is being said that he was always a small light in his town because nobody can recognize his uh, divinity. But some people that they, they were open to his presence they perceive in Jesus some unique gift for others. San Luis Aloysius Gonzaga, Gonzaga what will somebody, somebody ask him why he was playing? What will he do if he knew that with a few minutes he will die. I will keep on playing, he answered. He will go and carry out his normal everyday life and making life pleasant for his play companions. How we can continue play in our work, in our difficulties, uh, spiritual battles or some kind of sadness, how we can play and to, to, to be joyful at the same time with others. It may be we are called to be light. 
how we can be light. We need to receive light. We don't have light for ourselves. We need to be, you know, close to the Blessed Sacrament. This is the reason why we have many, many hours every day in the Blessed Sacrament in the old church. And we ask more people to fill the hours. Could be early in the morning, could be late during night. Why not 10 p.m., 11 p.m.? Be light and do work of mercy, like in the first reading we heard today. We are quiet clearly, so when we affirm our own faith in difficult moments, usually, you know, traditionally, you know, be light is to be faithful because uh, the church always, you know, combine light with faith. The light. And I imagine the candle, you know, the candle, you know, can enlighten the whole environment. The martyrs are great luminaries in the past and in the present. And maybe as a Christian, we are called to be white martyrs. Means not, you know, give our blood for Jesus and for the church. And if we are convinced that, that we believe in something today that people don't want to believe or don't want to accept, we need to suffer for our convictions. In a certain environment today, the mere fact of attending mass and maybe the subject of shocks and general Mockery. Going to Mass each weekend and obligation days is already being light. But I say every weekend, not sometimes, you know, on December 8th or uh, December 24th or 25th or January 1st, obligation days. When we don't go to the Mass, what happened? I can receive communion? No, nope, I cannot. I need to go to the confessional. I need to go to the confessional. Right side, right side, you know. If I lose, <laughs> I don't went to one Mass, I need to go to the uh, confession because it's uh, mandatory because the Lord wants to, to help us, to feed us, and to be in community, you know, to be as a family. Every, every Sunday or every Saturday. Oh, I cannot be in during Sunday because I need to go to one place or another. Okay, go to uh, another parish, St. Patrick, 5 p.m. Oh, no, I cannot go. Okay, go to St. St. Mary's, 4 p.m., St. Patrick, 4 p.m., or maybe in Aurora, 8 p.m. Yeah, different options, different opportunity, you know. But it's our obligation to praise the Lord, adore the Lord, be th thankful. And light is always detected and seen, no matter how small it may be. A little light may change the night. So my brothers and sisters, let us pray now. If you want to close your eyes, it will be good. If not, it's okay too. And we ask our Jesus, our Lord, our friend, our Savior, to receive now his light. Because he's a son. He gives the light for the whole world, even in darkness places. He wants to transform our life with his powerful graces, with his presence, with many, many witnesses around the world. Jesus, we love you, we adore you, we trust in you. We want to know deeper your life. 
your powerful gift as a Christians. We want now for intercession of our Mother Mary and Saint Joseph, our spiritual father, to receive the, the gift of be salt for people around us and to enjoy our time, our little sacrifices, our moment with them, with the gift of a spiritual help. Mary and St. Joseph, pray for us and for our families. Blessed George Matulaitis, pray for us.